Hello, everybody. We're just going to get started here in a moment. Um, but in the meantime, um, you'll see two of us on screen today because we're co-hosting. But um, if you haven't met me before, I'm Kat. Um, I'm part of the WAC recipe team. I'll reintroduce myself in a minute. Um, let me just get all my buttons pressed. While we're waiting, um, if you want to drop in the chat where you're tuning in from, because I always want to know. And have you ever cooked seafood from Wild Alaskan Company for someone else before? Um, have you ever treated someone to Wild Alaskan seafood, like a proper meal, um, if you want to drop that in the chat? Um, I definitely have cooked a lot of seafood for others um, in the past. And um, usually, usually everyone's pretty happy with that. So um, yeah, curious to see where you're coming in from and if you've cooked seafood for someone before. Um, I am somewhere tropical, which is why we are co-hosting today. Um, let's see, just wait another minute or so um, before we get started here. Um, wow, quiet room today. Where is everybody? Where are you coming in from? I know where Sinan is tuning in from. <laughs> She's, oh, hello, Ben. Um, seafood dinner parties, yeah. Um, and usually after these events too, I'll just have seafood on the counter. So then whoever walks into the uh, into the kitchen gets to eat something, whether or not I made it for them. Um, hi, Art from Texas. Uh, Lisa Sewell, I feel like I've seen you here before, um, Lisa. Hi, Matt. Um, all right, let me get all my windows in place here. Uh, for anyone who's coming in late, um, welcome. We're just pre getting started. Um, let me know where you're tuning in from and if you've ever cooked Wild Alaskan Company seafood for someone before. All right, Let's see here. I feel like we can probably start the trickle of participants is slowing down. So, um, all right, let's do this. You've definitely overcooked <laughs> seafood for others. That's funny. Um, oh, nice crab legs for crab legs are good. A lot of people don't know what Dungeness crab is until they have the seafood from Wild Alaskan Company, and then it's just a game changer. So, all right, as promised, let's go ahead and get started. So. Hi, uh, again, I'm Kat. I'm from the, I'm part of the Wild Alaskan Company recipe team. Um, if you joined us for a live event before, I'm usually tuning in from Brooklyn, New York, but currently I'm someplace tropical. So I have a co-host today. Um, she's a special co-host and she's going to be the chef of the moment, uh, Sonana. Um, you might have seen her at previous events moderating. So um, in the spirit of the holidays, Sanana is going to be making a couple of very easy salmon appetizers that you can enjoy this season or just keep it in the bank for a snack for another day. Um, after we finish making the appetizers today, we're going to talk seafood gift boxes. Um, Sanana is actually going to open up one of the gift boxes that she's sharing with her family this month. And um, so if you want to stick around for that, that should be pretty fun. Always love to see what's in a box. And um, yeah, especially if you're thinking about sending a seafood gift box to someone this season. So first, usual housekeeping. If you would like to follow along with the captions, I invite you to do that at the bottom of your Zoom screen. There should be a button that says captions or it'll be on a drop down menu that has three dots that says more. Um, if you have any questions at some point during the webinar, the event, um, feel free to drop that in the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. It'll just help uh, my colleagues field your questions to us better. And lastly, if you need to leave before today's event, don't worry, we'll send you a link in the next day. Um, we're also live streaming on Facebook right now. Hello, Facebook. So um, this will be available immediately after on the Facebook homepage. Let me just drop a link in the chat for that in case you don't know it. Um, so we are joined today by, um, like I said, my co-host Sanana, and also by Matt, one of our teammates from the member experience team, if he wants to come onto camera to say hello. Hi, Matt. Um, good to see you here again. So uh, he and I will be helping to answer some of your questions today. Uh, what we are going to be making, if we want to jump into the event, um, first we're going to show you how to 
turn store-bought flatbread into a beautiful salmon appetizer. It's gonna to be topped with an herby yogurt sauce um, and whatever other garnishes you like. So it's a little customizable, a really nice appetizer to leave out um, on a cutting board as a snack, and it doesn't require a fork or a knife, which is great. Um, then Sanana is gonna make an easy smoked fish dip uh, with broiled scallions. The ingredient list for this one is similar to the flatbread. So um, it has a totally different flavor profile though, and really nice appeal. Um, and yeah, with that, I will pass it over to you, Sanana. Great, thanks, Kat. Hi, I'm Sanana. I'm the director of member success here at the Wild Alaskan Company. I've probably spoken to many of you at some point in throughout my journey here. Um, welcome to my kitchen in Fort Lee, New Jersey. So as Kat mentioned, I'll be making the smoked salmon flatbread with herby yogurt. We shared the salmon appetizer um, before a couple of times, but we're bringing it back one more time to close out the year because it's delicious, quick, easy, and customizable depending on what toppings you like. So you can always change out the type of fish that you're using or the garnishes depending on what you like to use. Personally, I like to make things a little bit spicy, so I might add some jalapenos or green chilies, but of course it's to your preference. Um, now for the ingredients list, as you can see on my chopping board, I have um, cold smoked so sockeye salmon and I also have cold smoked uh, Pacific halibut. You can use cold or hot smoked, whatever you have or whatever your preference is. I have a store brought, bought non. Uh, you can use flatbread or pita as well, extra virgin olive oil, some minced garlic mixed with that olive oil, um, Greek yogurt half a lemon and I have dill chopped up but you can also use chives or any other herbs that you like cooking with. Um, now to start off I'm going to go ahead and take my um, garlic and olive oil that I have here and I'm going to drizzle it across the store-bought naan. I have the oven currently set to uh, 400 degrees. It only needs a few minutes in there. So you just wanna make sure you drizzle that all over before you put it in the oven. I'm gonna put this in the oven. So while that's in the oven, um, you can sometimes buy flavored naan as well and skip the garlic if you don't prefer that. You don't wanna skip the olive oil though because that's what's gonna make the flatbread help, you know, the naan crisp up. You can also use uh, cucumber slices that I have here instead, which will make it gluten-free for anybody that's looking for something that's gluten-free. And then what I'll do, is this is the yogurt that I have here. You want to squeeze half of a lemon in here. And you can add less or more depending on the consistency that you like to see, thicker or thinner. And you can go ahead and mix that up. I have some dill chopped up here. I'll go ahead and add that in here. Like I said, you can choose whatever um, herbs that you prefer to cook with or whatever flavors fit your taste. Um, you can also add any types of spices in here that you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper. I like a little bit more salt than usual, but you can add less. Um, and then I have some black pepper here that's fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that. And then I have over here the smoked um, cold smoked salmon and the cold smoked Pacific halibut. So while I'm just waiting for the naan, it's almost done. Another few seconds. Um, do I, are, are any questions right now? Uh, does it matter what kind of yogurt you use? This is a question that someone is wondering about. I know there's lots of different kinds of yogurt out there, full fat, strained, et cetera. Yeah, you can actually use either one. Um, if you if you do use the Greek yogurt, it will give you a thicker consistency that's more like a spread um, versus the full fat yogurt. But really, it's whatever works for you, whatever you like to eat. Um, you, it's really your preference. 
Um, I don't think we have any other questions. If you want to um, see how I mean, the dawn is looking. Yes, it looks good. Nice and crispy. Oh, that smells so nice and garlicky. So typically you want to wait a few minutes um, for this to cool down just so that when you put the yogurt on it, it's not melting, it's not melting right away. So in the meantime, I'll show you what it looks like on a cucumber for anybody that might want a slightly healthier or carb-free snack. But these are delicious. And then I'll go ahead and spread the yogurt across the naan. That smells so good. So I'm going to add my cold smoked sockeye salmon here on half of my flatbread. You don't, you can use it across the whole flatbread. You don't have to use two. Um, I'd like to use two because I like different, I like to offer variety. Let me just keep it spread across here. You can also then top it off with whatever garnishes you'd like. Like I said, I would like to use jalapenos if I were using it or garnishing it. You can use radishes, avocado, um, cilantro, anything that you'd like. And then I'll just take it off the foil here. Um, and you just wanna cut some slices. And this is something you can just leave out. You can, you know, you can have it on the chopping board like this um, for people to, you know, go ahead and taste or have it during a dinner party as an appetizer, whatever you prefer. Let me try this. Mmm, that's so good. Wow, that halibut with the yogurt sauce. You wouldn't think that they go together, but they're actually amazing, especially with the garlic. Um, I'll just add, uh, interject here really quickly. Um, the cold smoked halibut is a member special that we have from time to time. I don't know if we've offered it in a while, but it's a really nice counterpart to cold smoked sockeye salmon. The sockeye you can always have as an add on for any box, you should see it in your member special page. The cold smoked halibut is really nice. It's um, a little bit saltier almost, but it has a really nice texture. Um, I love that you're pairing them together. It kind of reminds me of making pizza where it's like half pepperoni and half mushroom, but instead it's half and half with the wild caught fish. So that looks great, Sanana. Do we have any questions from uh, any of the folks here? I don't see any at the moment. All right, let's go ahead and um, if you wanna get to the next recipe, Sonana, I'm just gonna drop the link in the channel or in the chat here so everyone knows what we're making. Absolutely, it's broiled scallion and smoked salmon spread. One of my favorites. Um, so this is a great dip to serve with crackers or crunchy vegetables. I have over here uh, some of these crackers. I also have some truffle chips that you could use. Um, they all go really well with this dip. Again, you can use vegetables as well, carrots, cucumbers, whatever floats your boat. Um, it's easy to make the day of, but also something you can make ahead of time if that helps you better plan for a gathering. <coughs> that that? And tastes a little bit like a sour cream and onion dip, but it's actually made with broiled scallions. And instead of sour cream, we use yogurt. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and combine the yogurt. As you can see here. And then I have the cream cheese here, which will go right into the yogurt. <coughs> and we just want to mix that up together. So you get um, that nice consistency, then you wanna add 
your half a lemon. So the ingredients are super similar to the first round that we made, but completely different appetizers. And mix that up. Then you can add any herbs you'd like. I have dill, so I'm gonna add the dill in here. And salt and pepper to taste. And of course, any other spices you might like. Super fast and easy. Now for the most important ingredient, um, other than the yogurt, so I just wanna clarify that you can use Greek yogurt or full fat yogurt, depending on the consistency you like. Again, Greek yogurt will give you more of a dip spread consistency. And then you wanna broil your scallions for about four to five minutes. And the way I did that over here, which I already have broiled, I added some sea salt and black pepper on them. And then it's easier to actually use kitchen shears if you have them versus a knife because it can get um, a little bit slimy, but you wanna get a nice char on them as you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a nice crisp char on these scallions. And you can cut them however small or large, depending on your preference. Just make sure to keep an eye on these while they are broiling because the, you don't want to burn them and they, they do broil very quickly. Again, it would, it would probably take about four minutes or so. So broiled scallions, um, you know, they get soft and sweet, so they're going to be less harsh than using raw scallions. You want to make sure that you do give them a broil. It adds a really nice flavor to the spread. Um, and like I said, it's easier to just cut them up versus using a knife because they can get a little slippery. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add these into our dip. So this just adds such great flavor. And then right after that, you'd wanna add your chopped up cold smoked salmon or hot smoked, whichever, right in here. As you can see, super fast, super easy. You can serve this in a really nice serving dish on the chopping board, on, on the cheese board, wherever you'd like. Yeah. And you just wanna add it on a cracker. When I have guests over, they love these. They're like perfection. Again, super easy to make. Um, you can enjoy them immediately, or you can store that. You can store your dip in the refrigerator um, until it's ready to be, you know, used if, when you when you want to serve it. It's a great appetizer to make ahead of time. Um, so, hope you guys are thinking about making this. Um, in the meantime, also I wanted to share that I ordered a gourmet gift box for my family and friends who will be coming over, you know, throughout the holidays this season. I picked this box because it covers a range of species. So there's a little something for everybody in here. So I'll, I have my box right here. My special wild Alaskan box. It's the favorite box of mine that I ever received delivered. Oh, pocket packaging. So inside this special gourmet gift box, we have our sockeye salmon. Um, you get two, two pieces of these, two fillets. We have Pacific cod, one of my favorites, love this for fish tacos or just eating it baked. Um, I also fry it sometimes in a sunduri paste. Um, four of these come here. 
And then we have two packs of um, rockfish fillets. So it's actually multiple pieces in a pack, but you get two packs of these. These are all species that you can get in a custom box. Um, so many of you are likely familiar with them already. And then we have four packs of the Wild Alaska Poly Quick Cuts. Um, these are great for, uh, you know, it's a great time saver. They can be cooked from frozen. Um, you can use them in anything like a stew, a curry, a chowder. It's a good species for someone you know who cooks for others. Can also be served as an appetizer depending on the way that you use it. We also have two fillets of sable fish skin on portions, which is great, especially if you like skin. Um, and ling cod. So we have two ling cod portions as well. Uh, sable fish is something that you can add as an add-on anytime. And ling cod is a member special that we have occasionally. So when you see them, I would recommend grabbing them. Um, they're both they're both really delicious, very, very easy to cook with. Um, either either is a perfect white fish species for a special dinner that you might be having. You get two packs of weather vane scallops, and I know how much everybody loves scallops. So that's a great surprise. Um, and you get two packs of spot prawns. Um, these are also offerings that are typically separate member specials, but this gift box and a couple of others give you the opportunity to get both in the same box, which feels really special and really nice to have, especially when you, know, you wanna order one for yourself or you wanna gift it to someone else. Um, I'm super excited to make the scallops and prawns, especially for my husband and family this holiday season. It's perfect for adding the best appetizers to your dinner table in such a short time. Um, it takes such a short time to cook and it adds such lovely, you know, flavor to your table. Um, that looks great. Yeah, everyone loves scallops. The, the thing I see often in the chat is how good scallops are. So yes, I agree with you. Um, GS bunch. Uh, thank you for commenting on scallops being yummy. So um, I have one question for you actually about the broiled scallion dip. Um, do you, if someone doesn't have scallions, do you have maybe like a different suggestion for them? I have a couple ideas myself, but like wondering if you have um, any thoughts on that. Yeah, I mean, I, I've i used a uh, red onion before. So that's something that can be a little bit Again, uh, pungent and if it's raw, but you can broil them and cut them up, um, slice them up, whatever, however you'd like them. But it gives a really nice flavor as well, very similar to the scallion. That sounds really good. And then um, I don't know if we have any more questions about the dip. It looks super easy to make. Um, I have made it myself. So um I don't, if you have any more questions about gift boxes, I will actually, let me go ahead and take, I'm going to take over. I'm going to come back on camera here and um, show you the gift box landing page. If you haven't had a chance to look at this yet, um, I also just want to show you exactly what um, Sanana got in the gourmet gift box. So if you'll bear with me a moment, I'm going to share my screen. Um, well, first of all, the gourmet gift box is actually sort of a secret box. You cannot get it on the main landing page. So you're getting a little special sneak peek at it here um, during this event. But um, let me go to this. This is the page I'm looking for. So if you are thinking about buying a seafood gift box for someone, this is what you're going to see on your home page right at the gift box tab up top. Um, I'll say that two of the most popular ones no surprise are the wild combo gift box and the salmon gift box. So these are going to be pretty much exactly, well, they are exactly what you get when you have a curated wild combo box or a curated salmon box. So if you've been a member with us, chances are you know exactly what's coming in these boxes. I know the wild combo is, is super popular. There's also a wild whitefish gift box. That's the same thing as our curated whitefish box. If you know someone who loves whitefish, can't eat salmon, we have options for everything. Um, so I'll say that those are super popular. Just anecdotally, the friends I know who have ordered fish for someone else are using these. They're a great intro uh, to someone who loves seafood, but you're not, you're not exactly sure what they want. Um, there are other a few other options on here that I think are worth pointing out. So you're getting about the same portion of fish in each box, but we've got 
this one, if you click into it, you'll see exactly what comes in it. This is for like mega, mega salmon lover. You love the fillets, you love uh, smoked salmon. So you get two kinds of smoked fish there. You get the hot smoked and cold smoked. And you also get ground sockeye, which is one of my personal favorite fish to cook with because it's just so surprisingly unique. Um, you can make um, fish cakes with it. You can make tacos and it a lot of times depending on how you spice it well anyway I won't go too much into the recipes but you get one pack of that for someone so um this was someone who loves salmon and you know loves experimenting with it because a lot of people don't really know what to do with sockeye luckily you get options to like uh you know there's lots of recipes that we can send them if, if you do end up getting this for someone so that's just the salmon lovers box the holiday seafood favorites box I'll just click into this really quickly you get a couple portions of each including weather vane scallops, sable fish, ground sockeye. Um, the secret box, it's not, it, I'm calling it a secret box because I think that makes it sound really fun, but the secret box is the one that, that Sanana is sharing with us today. And this is just a little bit of everything. You get to be a total foodie, or this is a great one for a, a foodie who, you know, wants to try a taste of every single thing that you have in here. And I mean, two things of scallops is pretty amazing. Um, I love the spot prawns. That's also a, a member special that we have right now. So yeah, just worth checking out. Um, this one, you won't be able to see this on the gift box landing page. So go ahead and save the link if you're interested in that. But um, yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to make sure everyone saw this because I think it's a really fun gift to send someone. I know that sending food is something that, um, I've I've done in the past, you know, I've sent people grapefruit or oranges like during the season, but seafood is like my new favorite thing to gift to people. So um, that is that. Does anyone have any questions about, um, you know, what we're what we're talking about with the gift boxes here? Mm, let's see. Nope, I don't think so. Yeah, it's a pretty easy uh, landing page to navigate. So, um, you know, if you do have any questions about scheduling the gift boxes to, um, you know, whoever you're sending it to, you can just reach out to the member experience team and they'll point you in the right direction. Um, they'll know a lot more than I do about it since I'm usually on the receiving side and not on the, on, not on the helping side, but, um, yeah, you can schedule it for any week. You can send it to anyone you want pretty much. And if you're a member, you get a special member price on the boxes. Whereas if you're not a member, you get a price but it's not the special one. So um, that is pretty much it with the gift boxes. Uh, I believe if you want to have a gift box sent before the 25th, then you need to order it this week before the 18th, I think is the final day. Um, so just keep that in mind, but it's also a great New Year's gift. So um, enough selling on the gift boxes. Um, I do want to say, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap this up unless anyone has any final questions. I think I already asked, but let me just make sure, look in my um, notes here to see if anyone is saying anything. No. Okay, great. Um, well, I just want to remind you that if you're um, that you don't have to be a member to send a seafood gift box to someone. Um, if you are a member, you get an exclusive price. Check out the lineup at the link, which I don't think I dropped into the channel. You should be able to find it on your homepage, but let me just go ahead and drop that into the chat here. And this is for all the gift boxes, except for the secret, <laughs> the secret gift box. So um, yeah, and if you're not a member yet, you can sign up today with the code live 25 you'll get 25 dollars off your first box of fish from wild alaskan company and um you'll be able to get the special member prices on everything so um you can sign up to join at wild alaskan company on the homepage. so yeah um thank you so much for co-hosting with me today sanana um it was really fun to share um kitchens and and recipes with you uh join us both next week uh we're going to be making really easy baked fish cakes. It's a recipe that's perfect for leftovers or just batch cooking if you want to make fish cakes. Um, you can even freeze them. So um, I hope to see you there and live wild, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.